Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to increase your internet speed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So, officially, the only way you can really increase your internet speed in a literal sense as well would be to contact your internet service provider and pay for a more expensive plan that has more data. However, there are ways that you can make small tweaks within Windows itself to get a little bit more transfer speed out of your internet. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to be modifying the IO request packet stack size. So this can adjust how many buffers your computer can use simultaneously. If you have a very slow connection it will not make a difference so there's really no point in trying. However if it's just kind of a slow connection but you want to get a little bit more out of it then in today's tutorial, we're going to go over that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it and start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check them back with Regedit Editor. Right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything would go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to restore from the backup, all you would do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we're ready to begin, and we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HKEY local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. And you want to go down to services and double-click on it. Go down to the LAN man server. Right here. And double-click on it. Should be a parameters folder in here. Left-click on that one time. So now the parameters is selected on the right panel. You want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select D word 32 bit value. Name this value IRP stack size. Exactly as you see it on my screen, the first letter of each word should be capitalized. So IRP stack size, and then hit enter. Double click on it. So set the base to decimal and then value data, delete the zero, type the number 32. And then you want to select OK. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.